Let's go. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. I don't think I'm going there, Spidey. What is that wrong? It's the May Foundation. They named a tree after her. That's Emily's tree. Oh, no. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, yeah, so they did. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. Oh, <laughs> man. So, what do you think? Uh, okay. The far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Wow, right, what's going on here? Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. Hi, right, Norman. They're still cool you know, in this timeline. Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> I like how he's wearing green everything, green eyes, green suit. <laughs> Get your badge out. Let's so he has to make go go uh, green goblin at this timeline? Hmm. Very interesting. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. What's up, Harry? Talk to me. This place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Okay. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. Oh. Okay. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's the leading Where? entomologist. Where? Right there? You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. What Young is, is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so the bees can stay alive. During the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? Yeah. What's up, Dr. Young? Talk to me. You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. That is but true. Worldwide They're populations mad are in important. steep decline. The wasps. Primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Yeah, I'm curious. Bee drone. Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. Oh. AKA, bee wolves. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what's target. Oh, the idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves, not hurt them. Oh, nice. oh that's sick. Yes! I didn't even know. Yep, you're done, Peter. A very productive session. Come on, man, I do got this. Great data. Okay, that's on. good. Saving the environment one day at a time. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow, well, that's I'd a lot of help bees. any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. Nah, he... I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work. Using protons instead of x-rays. With better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. 
Mm. What are those? What is this? What is this? What does this say? Let me see. It's a heart system thing? Huh, interesting. It's heart system. What's next? What do you got for me, Harry? Talk to me. What is this? Harry! A moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. Dr. Connors? I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. What happened to your hand? Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Okay, that's interesting. Your doctor is the lizard. Oh. Yeah, believes in second chances. Oh, that lizard. makes sense. Make yeah. But, uh, Connors, I was like, that's explore. the lizard. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. Does he not know I'm Spider-Man? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's so cool. That was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. What is it? See what's going on here. Maybe I can help. They don't oh, yeah, need... that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Anything else you want me to check out? Oh, there's a machine here. What is Looks this? Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. Must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Space research. Dormant lizard DNA. That's crazy, Parker. There's some more things in here. I guess I'll go to the next one. Should be over here. Yeah, that's how can have Connors. So like, much to see here. Where do I even start? Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They yeah. will by the time we're done with them. Oh. That's awesome. Thanks. So it does both things. Protects the ants. Not the ants, the bees. Beehives show complex group decision making and, and also good emotion. crop data. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. There is plenty to do. The electric bikes. Uh, what are these bikes? Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra efficient batteries charged by bicycles. What? These bikes. Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. There you go. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Is that it? Okay, perfect. Oh. I thought I was going to be put into a cutscene. What? Roger C. You really have a particle accelerator? Yeah, that's a part of it. We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible.
Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Foster? Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. Feed the so fish. calming and that we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. Mm. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many oh, growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Got it. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. I think it's this one. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. How the hell was I supposed to know that? That's so stupid. All right, no more trees, man. I'm done. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Attention. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. It might be my favorite. It's commanding, where? but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Watch out. Your I'm office. just kidding. Excuse me. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on. Where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I... Put it. Don't tell me you lost it. Nope. False alarm. Right here. Where? Go ahead. Swipe. And this wow. is what he wants. Take the job, Pete. I don't know why you wouldn't take it. 
Ah, oh, they're pulling out the strings Man. to get him. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect. Perfect, really. It's just. Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was what would I do if I survived? Mm. Okay. And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that. Golly, that's your mom? She bad. It's my responsibility to save him. Oh man, how you pulled that? If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on, let's make my mom and me proud, huh? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Why he's reluctant? There's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> hey. That's oh. good. One quick thing. Ah. <laughs> Damn, you set this whole thing up. The cook. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. I don't know if he's actually as healed as he says he is. He looks good, but I don't know. You know, behind the scenes, what's going on? Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, nice. Hey. Sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job! For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This <laughs> Both new of them foundation run by my best friend. I like that. It's... It's incredible. Uh, but I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but... Duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. <laughs> yeah. And get your school out the way, young, youngin. That was that was a good episode. Yeah. Like I said, though, I hope. Oh, that's the big building right there. Yeah. I hope Harry's actually all good, right? Hopefully's all good. That's a good. That's a good way for that. City looks beautiful. And it's beautiful. I'm enjoying the game. 